Bobby Brown tells all in an exclusive interview with us all about his new book, Every Little Step. To give us a scoop is Us Weekly Entertainment Director, Ian Drew. Hey, Ian. Hi. So this is big news. It is earth-shaking news. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of revelations in the book that no one has ever heard before, and Bobby spoke to us about them as well. Mm -hmm. uh, big time revelations about his marriage to Whitney Houston, most of all. Mm -hmm. uh, he describes one episode where he was so high on drugs that he fell over, and Whitney actually grabbed the drugs out of his hand and did them yeah. herself. And he actually suffered from a stroke when that happened, right? Yes, he yeah. suffered from a stroke and he was okay, but he talks about uh, how the first time he saw Whitney doing cocaine, they had actually been smoking marijuana up until that point, and then it was at their wedding. He walked in, saw Whitney doing the cocaine, and the drug use escalated after that. It got even worse after daughter Bobby Christina was mm -hmm. born, and he says Bobby Christina was witness to all of it. Right, and then he also talks a lot about Bobby Christina's death, right? Yes, he talked about how heartbreaking Bobby Christina's death was, and that he could have saved her, he tried. She really pulled away from him, and he found it very disturbing when she ended up uh, calling Nick Gordon her boyfriend all of right. a sudden and claiming she was married to him, but then she admitted to Bobby uh, she was not married. He also says he never went to her grave. He yeah, does not believe. Yeah, interesting, yeah. Yeah, he does not believe mm -hmm. in going to grave sites. He thinks it's scary and spooky. He mm -hmm. doesn't even go to the grave sites of his mom, his dad, and his close friends who have passed away. So interesting. The other revelations about Whitney that were very shocking in particular were A, that she had an affair with Tupac Shakur. I know. That I, when yeah. I read that, I was like, whoa, I can't believe that. Yes. And, and it was while they were married. And it was while they were married. Mm -hmm. Bobby says that both of them cheated on each other throughout the marriage. He also confirms rumors that Whitney was a lesbian right. and had a sexual relationship with Robin Crawford, her mm -hmm. best friend and assistant. Uh, he says they were married and he knows they discussed this, so uh, it was true. But he does think that Whitney was bisexual, obviously, because right. she was very attracted to him and he's a man. Yeah, and he also talks about his relationship with Janet Jackson too, right? Yes, shocking, shocking yes. stories <laughs> about Janet Jackson and Madonna. Mm -hmm. He says that uh, he dated Janet Jackson while she was with Renee Elizondo, a junior who became her future husband. Uh, they actually met up in hotel rooms and they broke up in a hotel room when Janet admitted to him that she was in love with, loved him, but was not in love with him, and that's because her father would not allow her to be with a black man. Right. Bobby was so infuriated, he told us he exploded and kicked her out of the room while she was naked and shut the door on her. Unbelievable, and probably one of the biggest surprises of all is that Bobby Brown had sex with the ghost. Yes, not <laughs> only that, he ate cocaine chicken. Yes, yes these are two of the really interesting uh, stories that he talked about to us uh, that were in the book. Uh, he did uh, talk about having sex with a ghost in a haunted house mm -hmm. that he lived in right. in Atlanta that he had gotten from a porn director. Yes. Um, and one night he woke up and he said a white woman was just straddling him mm -hmm. and it felt exactly right, like that. Right, because he had sex. mirrors on his ceiling. As so even the do. dead wanted to have sex with Bobby Brown <laughs> at the height of his fame. Yeah. Uh, he also talked about a story from when he was a kid uh, when he went to go make fried chicken using mm -hmm. some flour he found in the kitchen and it started tasting funny and then his mom came home and realized he had taken the cocaine that she was selling and oh cooked the fried chicken in it. It's insane. Yeah. It's crazy. It is a must read. It is a must read Definitely. on many levels. Definitely. Yeah, well, it's our cover this week. It is. Well, thank you, Ian, so much. And for yeah, much absolutely. more on Bobby Brown, make sure you keep it right here at usmagazine.com.